Now we would like to talk about vector subtraction. So how do I actually subtract two vectors? So in this case I have vector A, which is 5i plus 5j, and vector B, which is 2i plus 2j, or uh, 1j rather, and you can see that A is five units along the x-axis and five units up, and vector B is two units along the x-axis and one unit up. So my question is, if I want to create a new vector C, by the subtraction of B from A, or A minus B, what is the, uh, what are the components going to be? What is the magnitude going to be? And what is the angle, or the, what is the direction of the vector going to be? Okay. So these are the questions we can ask. Now graphically, uh, well, let's start with the components, okay? The components act just like addition, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a plus sign here, but I'm gonna multiply through B the quantity that's being subtracted by a negative sign, okay? I'm gonna multiply through B with a negative sign, and then I'm gonna add them like I did before. So 5 plus negative 2. So the components of my new vector C are going to be 3i and 4j. Okay, So I can immediately plot these on my graph if I would like. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3i and 1, 2, 3, 4j. And this is my new vector C, or the resultant C, okay? There are a few different ways that we can actually arrive at that result. Graphically, one thing we can do is denote the difference between these two by drawing a vector from the quantity being subtracted to the uh, vector that is subtracted from. So what this would look like, start at the tip of the vector being subtracted, and then draw a new vector to the new tip of the vector being subtracted from. Okay, this is also the vector C, okay? And if you look closely, these two vectors, at least within the, the bounds of my artwork, are pretty close. They should be, in theory, they should be exactly the same. But if I displace this vector, I should get this vector. These should be the same. And they should be at the same angle, okay? Or another way that we can arrive at this is since B is what we're subtracting from and we multiply it through by a negative sign, draw the uh, vector that is uh, opposite from B. In other words, we changed its components to negatives. So I'm gonna take two in the negative x direction. I didn't label my axes, whoops. So two in the negative x direction and one in the negative y direction. So this vector represents negative B. Okay, and notice that negative B is exactly 180 degrees from B, okay? Um, and so another way of doing this is saying C is equal to A plus negative B. And now if I do the tip to tail method, if I displace B and move it from A, the new tip is right here and I would draw C from the origin to my new tip here. And you should be able to convince yourself that all three methods, all three of these graphical methods should agree. If I just draw a vector from B to A, then that magnitude and direction should be the same as that vector, okay? So there are multiple ways you can go about graphing a uh, vector subtraction, all right? But now that we have this, okay, now that we have this, what is the 
magnitude and direction of C. Okay, it does not matter how you uh, obtain your resultant, but once you have it, it's very natural to ask what are its magnitude and direction. So now I want to take the magnitude of C, and again we see this is 25, and again the angle is going to be the inverse tangent of 4 over 3, okay, somewhere around 50 degrees, okay, uh, in between 50 and 60. But anyway, if you put, put that in your calculator, you can easily find that. So that is how you can subtract two vectors, okay. To sum up, you can do it by taking the vector that you're subtracting, multiply through by a negative, and then just add the components. You can graphically do it by drawing a vector from the vector that's being subtracted to the vector being subtracted from, displace that vector to the origin, um, or you can draw a um, negative vector of the vector being subtracted and do the tip to tail method up to the vector that is being subtracted from and then draw your new resultant from the origin to that new tip and that will get you the um, resultant, okay? But that is how you subtract a vector. It's a little bit more complicated than addition and we won't do it as much, but we will run into it occasionally, so we did wanna make sure that you um, had this video for you. All right, we'll see you next time.